Hello everybody. This is Yoko's Band of Anime Reactions and uh this is gonna be my review for Akatsuki no Yona episode thirteen and just as a quick and that quick message for you guys. Uh the if you guys are looking for the Rise of the Guardian reactions, I'm gonna have to upload them on BitChute because uh they got blocked on Facebook. And when I deleted them, I didn't realize at the time I didn't remember where I had put the videos. So I was scrambling around trying to find the videos, thinking I didn't have them anymore. And I was like, oh crap, I'm going to have to delete the playlist and tell everybody, yeah, you can't find them anymore. Thankfully, I searched my computer, you know, did a little search, and it pulled up the videos. So I was like, oh, thank God, I still got them. And they were in one of my reaction folders. I was like, oh, they're there. I don't know why I left them there, but whatever. At least I still have them. So... For the time being, I'm going to have to put them on bit shoot. So until then, uh, you guys can't watch the reactions at the moment, but... Anyway, um... Uh, yeah, obviously Hawk and Keija aren't happy that Yona was possibly almost kidnapped. And uh, God only knows what happened to her, what happened to her if the guy had been able to succeed. I do not know what he was planning... Or what, but I'm going to assume the worst and that he would try to force himself on her or something like that. That's the only real reason I can think of as to why he would drag her down there and essentially not out of the cavern or possibly he was going to kill her. I don't know, but... Uh, yeah, like I said, I didn't mention this in the last video because I didn't talk about everything, but thankfully the Blue Dragon Warrior had saved her, and like with, uh, Kija, once he touched her, his, uh, dragon's blood awakened and essentially told him, hey, yeah, this is your master. He doesn't know what's going on, though, because nobody told him about, you know, what being the Blue Dragon Warrior means and that he is waiting for his master. Nobody told him this. And apparently the dub doesn't do what well, doesn't do last episode justice. From what someone said in the comment section, that the sub is a whole ton better. And I wouldn't know because I didn't watch the sub for that. But uh, yeah, essentially everybody's being watched by the villagers. Probably I don't know what they're planning, but Haw they end up watching Hawk while he sits outside the room guarding everybody while everybody else goes down back to the caves to find the blue dragon warrior. Once they find the secret passage, people are now watching Kija as the others go down the passage. Obviously Yona tries to talk to him and get him and you know convince him to join them. Doesn't go over too well considering he doesn't know them, he doesn't trust them, he is thinking about it, but he's not quite sold on it. And, yeah, a, an earthquake happens and causes a collapse in the cave, cutting Hawk off from the rest. And I think we see another moment where he possibly likes her in more than just, you know, a bodyguard, a guardy type thing. I think he does like her as more than just, you know, a friend. From the way he is extra way he's acting. Because obviously he's concerned about her anyway, you know, being his her bodyguard and all, but I think he does like her and it actually shows later in moments between them that he does have feelings for her, but obviously he can't really uh, tell her or act on them due to not only his position, but I uh, don't know if... I think he's probably nervous about whether she feels the same. But when I recorded this episode, I only had 13 episodes of the show on my computer, and this was the last episode, so that's why I was upset that I couldn't watch anymore, because that was before I got to download the rest. Anyway... I hope you guys enjoy the reaction, whether the dub does it justice or not. I hope so. Anyway, I will see you guys next time.